What is going on, buddy? King Recon here, man. Let me just do this right quick. We're going to talk about some Gintama, man. Gintama chapter 589. Now, if you saw one of my previous videos, I got spoiled in this chapter, man. And the panel... <clears throat> The panel that I got spoiled on was was the, was the final panel with with Kagura, uh, holding Kamui with Kamui defeated on the floor. So I was like, damn it, I can't do a live reaction, right? So I just read the chapter myself, and I wasn't gonna do a video for it. But after reading the chapter multiple times, I I really thought that I should I, sh I should talk about it, man. Now, this week's chapter of Gintama, there there are a lot of Gintama chapters that I feel like are just so well put together that they can really. Be, like if you put them in, into like a um, just the panels themselves on a YouTube video and call it an episode and put music and dialogue over it, I think people would be fine with it. And this is one of those chapters. This chapter, every single panel, the way that it went with each other, the flashback panels, everything structure-wise for chapter 589 was perfect. This chapter, from a structure standpoint, was absolutely perfect. Now, there's been a lot of controversy that I've been seeing about the way that Kamui was defeated. And for me, the way that he was defeated was perfect. Or, or at least it was it was, it was was very, very beautiful and the way that it was done was incredible. Kamui had taken so much damage over the course of these past couple of battles that it would be, it, it is fitting that the, man, uh, the, that, that the person who took him down was in fact Kagura not in her berserk form, but instead it was the tears of her sister that actually brought down this beast, this man who was empty, this man who was tired of it, this man who just wanted to go back home, you know, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful that Kagura was the one to do it. There was a couple panels in this chapter that really hit hard, hit, hit me hard at home, man. From beginning to end, this chapter hit me in the fields with the very first panel right here, the eyes of a strong girl she is no longer lost, and it just shows Kagura, and Kagura looks so much like Koka, and it reminds you of that statement that Kamui made back in chapter 582, talking about, you know, every time I look at you, you know, it, it, it's tough, it's hard, and it, it, it's true, because if you look at Koka, you look at, Kam at Kagura, they, they look so much alike. You know, especially right now with Kagura right here in, the, in this panel with her hair down, man. She looks a lot like like Koka, man. It's it's insane. And in, in her uh, five years in the future, um, the way that she looks there, she definitely looks a lot like Koka. So it's 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 incredible. Like Kamui, it really must hurt him, and it really it really is fitting that uh, him as a mama's boy, as I like to call it, that that uh, Kagura was the one to do it. And it was so beautiful in that last page. Whenever we saw. Uh, Koka holding uh, Ka Kamui. Oh my God, dude, that panel gets me every time, man. Koka's holding Kamui, and let me let me actually go. You know, and I'll read I'll read the 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 panel verbatim on here. Right? Okay, so right here, it's it just it, oh, hold on. the chapter before chapter before or the panel before right here. Kamui, you are mommy's our family, and it just shows Kaga right there crying with right there on top of Kamui, and the tears are falling upon him, and then <coughs> his head gets lifted. And it shows the panel of Coca, man. And it just, it pulls at the heartstrings so much. No matter how many thousands of times he was hit, he didn't collapse. The strongest man in Harusami, our captain, felt just a single one of his little sister's tears. That face was like that of a little kid that got exhausted from crying and fell asleep at his mom's knees. I mean, beautiful narration, man. Just this chapter, from, 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 from beginning to end, all the way from... And you know, going up page by page, you know, with, with they're just continuing their bouts. They're going in, and it's the flashbacks, and they've they've always fought to get either whether against or with each other as a family. They've always to God, they've always fought as a family. It's just the way that it's always been, you know. Every everyone went through their went through their struggles in this fight, man. But Cogger in the end, she 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 really she. It was fitting that the person who really drilled this into Kamui was Kagura. It, it really is because after what we saw in Yoshiwara with whenever Kamui was introduced and how she, uh, whenever Shinpachi spoke to Kagura, telling you know it's okay, man, because we're here with you, and how she spoke to that, it, it, how her and Gintoki both spoke of it, and 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 Shinpachi, of how it's the Yorozuya that really changed him and, and for the better. You know all of their flaws together. You know, all of them are, are human at the end of the day. Now, they all have their flaws, but together, man, they each carry each other's burdens. And it is such a beautiful uh, story. Like, in, in Kagura just telling Kamui, he's like, let me carry it too, man. Let me, and let our family carry those burdens with you. But please come home with us so we can go back home, back back to that blue planet as a family. And it's absolutely beautiful. We just continue, look, look, just look at these panels, man. 
just look at these panels. Seriously, if I, I, and I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. I'm making a, a separate channel and just putting. I, I I have no knowledge in motion of how to like like my boy Soul Madness does. But I'm really tempted on just putting up this chapter the way it is. I, I seriously and call it Gintama episode three hundred and thirty. I I mean, look, man, it, this this chapter. Could have, could have really been by itself. Look at this. Look at this beautiful panel right here. Yato, blood of mine. And you just look at his eyes. You already see the tears swelling up there, man. Because Kamui, he understands with every single hit. He's went through so much. Look at this bloody the face of his. He fought against Yumi, he fought against Yumi Bozu. A little bit with Utsuro. Game Toki. And then Shinpachi and Kagura. The man is exhausted. I don't care if he's a Yato. He's exhausted. And he just wants to, just like in the last panel said, he's exhausted. And he just wants to lay down and cry on, on, on his mother's lap. Which is so symbolic that it was Kagura that was the one. And just look at these facial expression panels. Let me at least squabble with my sibling with my own fists. I can't lose to you anymore. And it, it, just the way it's transitioning from the past to the present, from the past to the present, and showing the panels of the past, it was just so beautiful. The man that unable to be by that person's side and watch over her as she suffered left her side. Or the man that could not acknowledge that cowardice and, bla and blame that man for everything and did not but try to escape down that path called fighting. Or, or you, that even left all alone, stayed by that person's side, and even when we were split apart, kept trying to fight next to us, your family. And it, it's it's like, Kamui always, Kamui always despised Mibozu because he saw a lot of himself within Mibozu. He really did. And the same thing with Yumibozu, man. It's like that's why him and him, him and uh, Yumibozu always were always at, at going at each other. They just saw they were just so similar in that aspect, and they hated that part of themselves, and and they respected Koka and Kagura so much. And it's just it, it's absolutely it's it's just it really it makes makes me want to tear up, man, of how beautiful this the writing itself is, and just continue with the chapter. A big brother can't just keep losing to his little sister right and it, you just look at as they get closer so let me have this win already little sister and you see both of their faces man it's just i'm telling you yo from a from a structure standpoint uh, of the way that he structured the panels the way the panels were drawn this chapter could not have been any better folks it really couldn't have it was absolutely beautiful it was it was fantastic loved this chapter and then th this one uh, chapter tw or page 12 just the overall you know, trying to Kagura trying to get close to Kamui's face, and then it just shows Abu and Toki and, and Shinpachi's facial expressions is absolutely phenomenal. And then this this panel right here, man, on page thirteen with 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 Kamui just succumbing and falling right there on her shoulder, you know, like 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 a baby whenever they want to cry right there on their mama's shoulder, man. It it's absolutely beautiful and just an incredible panel it was with Kagura just holding him like I got you, man. You don't have to suffer anymore. It's 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 it's, it's incredible. The battle is over now, yes. Whether whether because you could not hit me or because you would not hit me, Kamui and uh, Ka Kamui get stronger and protect your little mother and sister. A big a big brother's fist cannot defeat a little sister, and it and they're both they're both look, just looking look at Kamui. Kamui's just looking down, man. And Kagura looks like she's about to cry. It makes me want to cry too. It's you cannot break free of little sister's hands, and it just continues to show. You know when Kagura was yelling right there at Koka's deathbed, man, and he was over here yelling, and and Kamui's yelling, and it was just with, with Koka's death and trying to get over that, and it's just it's it's incredible. Welcome home, Kanko, Kamui. All four of us are finally back together, aren't we, Kagura? A family really has to stick together. Now we can all go to earth together bro and you can't tell me this chapter could have gone any better from beginning to end it was such a beautiful chapter and and to be to be real with you i think right under 585 and 584 and probably 572 this is probably my favorite chapter in the, or the fourth fourth favorite chapter on the arc just incredible man and just we continue throughout the chapter and it's seriously you can I, I keep saying this but he could not have structured this any better it's such a beautiful chapter going back finally seeing the deathbed scene and then going back, and I'll read this piece of dialogue. Back then you were by mommy's side too, yes? No matter how far you ran, no matter how far you were, you could not shake free. And then I'm going to repeat this. Kamui, you are mommy's, our family. And she's tearing up and the tears are hitting him in the face. And just just this this freaking panel of uh, of, Coke, of Coca just holding freaking Kamui's head, man. It's, it's it's amazing. It's it's absolutely incredible. Like, you, you, you t personally... If I didn't give this chapter an awesome sauce, it, it it just for me as an individual who 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 pretty much I mean I I have a lot of fun, but I I like to say that I take this seriously, right? 
And the way this chapter was, from a dialogue standpoint, from an art standpoint, from a storytelling standpoint, and from a structure standpoint, this was a perfect chapter to end this, to end this fight, to end this dispute. I mean, absolutely beautiful stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, just with going with the past and the present and how it fits together so perfectly, the panel. Seriously, I, if I were to put this pa pa panel by panel, add music, add some voices, I could call it Gintama episode 303 or 330. I really could. Absolutely beautiful stuff, man. And, and, and that's pretty much the chapter. It's just absolutely incredible stuff. An awesome sauce of a chapter for, for damn sure. For damn sure. Just come we... Finally, you know, the, the the person who finally made him realize, man, the first person who finally made him come back home, it's just, it's fitting that it was, that it was Kagura, and I'm very, very happy that it was Kagura, and it was, it, it, I mean, he was suffering so much, man, he was empty, and it, it really is amazing how it went from Yumebozu and him fighting, then Gintoki giving him that speech, and then Kagura at the very end, it was the nail on the coffin, and then they're finally getting the flashbacks and getting the, ah, Beautiful stuff, man. This, 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 uh, Rakuyo Shodan arc has been freaking awesome sauce, man. And that freaking cover page, or, like, yeah, the, the color page with Kagura, just, this entire chapter, everything about it was amazing. I just, I absolutely loved it. And then going into the popularity polls, man, you already know what it is. Let me actually go over it and go from the bottom to the top. See, you know, I, I'm, I'm still very, very depressed and saddened about the Hasegawa thing, man. You guys know me. Madao, third favorite character. You take out the zero, that's where he is in my spot. I, I believe I strongly believe that Marao, aka Hasegawa, is, he is the soul of this series. Besides besides the Yodozuya and the Shinsengumi, he is the soul of this series. He he represents uh, he he is Gintama to me, man. He really is like <coughs> I strongly believe I wouldn't love Gintama as much as I do without without Hasegawa. Seriously, man. And then right after him we have we have Matako, then we have Mitsuba. Mitsuba, man. And real talk, Mitsuba looks a lot like a Simon right here at 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 uh, at, at um twenty eighth. She really, really does look a lot like a Simon. Then Abuto, then the main man, Sasaki Saburo, man, I just that that that's the man right there. Then we have Vansai and then Zenzu. And then we're twenty four, which also depresses me because I, I would love for him to be much higher, but it is what it is. Uh, Sato Tobi right here. By the way, happy birthday, Sato Tobi. Today's Sato Tobi's uh, birthday. Then we have uh, Kyube, which is really, really nice seeing her all the way up there since we haven't seen her in the manga in so long. Then we have Mutsu, Elizabeth, my, my boy Shige Shige, the realest in the game, man. Rest in peace, my friend. Shimura Tei, I forget, Otai chan. Uh, then we have Sirachi himself, and then Nobume, awesome Sasuke Nobume that up there. Sadaharu, Yamazaki, then my boy Shoyo. I mean, so to me, Shoyo will be top five, but you know what it is, what it is. Sukuyo, then my boy Saito. And it's really, really cool seeing characters like Sukuyo and uh, Otai. And, you know, a lot of these characters, uh, freaking Kyubei, uh, Mitsuba, for God's sakes. Like, uh, Ma Marao, like, a lot of these characters are still in the top 30, even though they haven't been there so long. It just shows you how strong uh, Sirachi's characters are. People remember them. And then we're right here going to the top 10. Sakagoto at number 10, Kondo at number 9, which is my second favorite character, uh, Shinpachi at number 8, Kamui at 7th, Kagura at 6th, <laughs> Got uh, Katsura is trolling at number 5, and Takatsugi Hotsuke is number 4, he, he, uh, Sogo is 3rd, Hijikata 2nd, and the greatest character in all of literature is number one, man, Gintoki. And it's it is it's a solid solid popularity poll. If this is the, if this, if this is the final one, if this is the final uh, popularity poll, we're ever gonna for Gintama, it was a solid one. It was definitely a solid one. And I'm I'm freaking the four straight wins for Gintoki, man. He's a he's a four time in a row heavyweight champion, son. Of course, he never lost it. He never lost the belt. So <clears throat> overall, man, five, chapter five hundred eighty nine absolutely fantastic uh you know just everything about it from 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 being a chapter and from a storytelling standpoint both standpoints absolutely amazing i just i just love the fact that kagura was doing to make kamui realize everything and just the way this chapter was i mean you seriously moved like a movie in my head and incredible chapter folks incredible chapter and I'm, I'm just so happy and i can't wait to see what's gonna happen next we're about to reach chapter 590 this, this arc is going to end soon i was actually on a like a very very emotional side of myself uh i think it was around two days ago where i just couldn't stop thinking about gintama thinking about its ending thinking about how much the series means to me and i just it's so so much in my feels because after i after i read the chapter myself and i read, I read it to myself and i was like man 
what a chapter, you know, and, and, and what a chapter, because I was sad about the events that happened in the chapter, and I was emotional about the whole stuff of Koka and actually seeing her death, but whenever she was holding Kamui's head, that to me was probably the most emotional part of the chapter, the part with, with Kagura holding Kamui, telling her it's okay, I mean, it's absolutely incredible stuff, because Kagura is there for him, man. And um, all that stuff, it really hit me emotionally. But also hit me emotionally whenever I realized, man, this series is coming to an end soon. And that, that really hurt me. Because even though we're going to have this final arc, and this final arc is probably going to be longer than, uh, than, than, than the Rakuyo Shodan arc, uh, it's, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be longer than the Rakuyo Shodan arc, but it's still, we're going, in, they're going to be in the final arc of Gintama. So after that, it's over, man. It just, it, it kills me, man. It hurts. And, and it's, I don't want the series to go away, but... It's better to end on a, on a, on a fantastic, awesome sauce, godlike um, state and or or, or um, in, in mode that it's in, or then 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 to just stretch out and, and lose its touch. You know, it's it's it's, it's just amazing, man. I I'm gonna miss the hell out of Gintama, but son, this chapter was incredible. Five eighty nine for sure. Top five favorite chapters in the arc thus far. I might have to think about it, man, but it might it might just be right under a uh, five five eighty five. Because 585, without a doubt, it was, it was um, of my chapter of the year until I read a couple of chapters that came out just recently. But that 585, I'm Yorozu again, that chapter was goat, man. That chapter was, woo! That chapter was amazing. But this right here, man, phenomenal chapter. One of the best chapters in the arc for damn sure. And just, it hit all the right strings. And it just, once I, repeating what I said before, for as a chapter itself, everything, structure, uh, storytelling, dialogue, art, everything. It was, it, was, it was fantastic. What more What more can I ask for from a chapter? Sriracha delivered on all aspects with everything from color page until the popularity poll results. Uh, awesome sauce of a chapter. Thank you guys very much for being patient with me. I know that, I know that this, this video is about a week late, but thank you very much if you've made it this far. I really appreciate it, man. The, the Gotama community is ever so strong. And I cannot wait for next. I can't wait for the next chapter, man. I really can't wait to see how this arc wraps up, and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen soon with the final arc, man. But you guys have been awesome today. Beautiful stuff with the Yato family. I'm just so happy they finally are back together as a family, man. It's absolutely beautiful. And even though Coco's not there, Coco's there in spirit. And I, I can't wait for more, man. You guys have been awesome today. What a chapter. Go Tom, awesome sauce, man. Truly, go Tom, awesome sauce. <laughs>